morning students today we are going to discuss about rotary oil pump rotary oil pump is a vacation pump it consists of one outer cylinder with a rotation cylinder rotor so the rotor or rotates eccentrically inside the outer cylinder with the help of one electric motor so here see is the this is the inlet tube which is connected to the vessel to be on the vessel to be on Uh, vacated and O is the outlet valve. The pump is immersed in oil to avoid leakage. Let us see how the rotary oil pump works. The rotor that is R is initially in the position shown in the figure. See, I will show you in the figure. See, the rotor R is initially in the position shown in the figure. The vessel to be vacated is in contact with the space in between the cylinder okay so look at the second diagram when the rotor r moves uh, to the position shown in the second figure the space is divided into two parts so a and b by the vane that moves up and down okay so air in a is not in contact with the other portion and look at the third diagram see this is the th third diagram the rotor moves and the air in the other portion gets compressed the process continues more air enters into your into the first portion from the vessel to be vacated okay and look at the fourth diagram that is this diagram in the portion of exhaust portion the high pressure the valve bore is open and the air is exhausted out so look at this diagram so with the continuous rotation of r more and more air escape through this exhaust valve that is out escapes out and the pressure inside the vessel decreases so the vacuum produced with the pump is of the order of 10 power minus 3 mm of hg the pump is useful useful in vacating electric discharge tubes um, electric bulbs x rays uh, x rays tubes and electric valves so we have to note that to produce a, a still lower pressure rotary oil pump is used in conjunction with the mercury diffusion pump so let next we will see about the uh, mercury diffusion pump that is also it is called as a diffusion condensation pump see let us see how it the diffusion condensation pump works so a mercury diffusion pump consists of a flask containing mercury so this flask this flask is connected to the another tube so the end of the tube is connected to the another tube in the form of a, of a narrow jet opens inside the outer tube so here to here there are two uh, portions are there one is inlet and another one is a outlet see let us see how the diffusion condensation pump works initially the inlet tube is connected to the vessel to be vacated and the outlet is to be connected to the rotary oil pump okay so the with the help of the rotary oil pump the pressure of the uh, pressure is done in the order of 10 power minus 3 mm is obtained inside the vessel so as we uh, discussed earlier so mercury in a is that is the mercury in the first portion that is it is known as a number 1 so the mercury in one portion is uh, gently heated so that the mercury vapor rises up uh, the tube second tube so these mercury vapors come out of the jet c in the form of a fine spray at the at this portion there is a lowering of pressure and the air in our vessel reaches the space in the that is the uh, right hand side portion so in this way air from the vessel is vacated further the air in this this portion is pushed down uh, by the condensed mercury vapor this air is exhausted out by rotary pump so pressure as low as 10 power minus 5 mm of hg are obtained with the use of this uh, diffusion condensation pump so it is used to produce a low pressure up to 10 power minus 3 uh, mm in x ray tubes photo electric cells and radio valves and electric bulbs etc so like that we have we can uh, produce low pressure by using rotary oil pump and diffusion condensation pump 